Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a bouncing ball without you animating the bouncing ball. We are going to let the graph editor animate that bouncing ball. Really simple. Uh, I've got a quick scene here and all I did was uh, I brought in an, and an image of this room, placed it in the background. There's that empty. Uh, I'm going to go back to the stroke. Before I get to drawing, uh, I'd like to create a material. I'm gonna hit the plus sign to create a new material, hit the new. And I want it to have a stroke and I want it to have a fill. And I want this fill to be something other than black. Let's make it red. And so I, I'm gonna draw a circle with this new material. And I'm gonna have the radius at about 40 and the strength at one. And so I'm gonna draw a little quick circle. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna draw a circle. And for some reason, you can't see it. I don't know why, uh, but there it is. I just hit the return and, and there's our little ball. And I, I wanna reveal my timeline. Go ahead and click on this to, re, uh, to reveal the summary. And then I'm going to do it at about maybe 40 frames. Uh, therefore, or 50 whichever let's uh try 40 but we're going to end this at 50 frames so uh the next thing i'd like to do go to object mode and we have our our uh, object here it's this little ball but the pivot point is way out here we need to move it to the center of the ball so go to object set origin origin to geometry and boom there it is i have a video explaining this and so let's get to animating i'm going to move my mouse over to the timeline hit the home key just to zoom in on this timeline and then start auto key auto keyframe and then i'm going to select the it's already selected select the ball and I'm going to create a keyframe at frame one, right where it is. I'm going to hit the I key, I, and then set a keyframe for location and rotation. And there it is. We have our first keyframe. I'm going to go all the way to 40 and move this ball, hit G, all the way over here to its end point. And so there's our animation. Hit uh, play, and you see the ball move to its end point. Uh, and so the magic is we're going to create another window put your mouse way in the corner to see the the uh, little cross symbol and then click on it and drag up to reveal another window I'm gonna zoom out and in this window we don't see we don't want to see the view we, we'd like to see is the graph editor select the ball and you'll see all the uh, graphs for that ball. I'm going to open up the object transformation properties and I'm going to uh, uh, turn off all of them except for the Z. The Z is what we want to animate. Right click on the graph, right click, go to interpolate mode and bounce. And so once you hit play, boom, there it is. We just created a little bounce. We didn't actually animate uh, the ball, the bounce. We animated the ball going from place to place only because we needed the height. We can adjust the bounce a little bit by moving the keyframes around, but that's it guys. A quick little bouncing ball animation without you having to animate that bounce. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.